Year number four, done. How's it feel? And Amazing. what's interesting doing these interviews, chatting to people tonight, is lots of new people that have never yeah. been before. Which is lovely. Really lovely. Lovely to see familiar faces, because you know, being autistic, I like familiar, but <laughs> but yeah, it's, we're reaching. And when this started, it was very much a put our toe in the water. It took a lot of investment, personally from you, not just yeah. financially, but in time. Do you see now that these awards are making differences to people? Oh, massively. Massive. It's just... Movies Media have come on and done some filming for us and just listening to the three videos they did before the awards, a few days before, I don't know if I can take the positivity to be fair. I know it's having a good effect, but yeah. to actually hear it yeah. is all a little bit emotional. So yeah, it is. It's, it's So one of the one of the winners tonight, so he was the finest when I was speaking to him, and said that he'd speaking to somebody about um, being up for an award, a dyslexia yeah. award. That opened up a conversation about this one's son who was dyslexic and that he ended up wanting to see him to give him some advice to help him with jobs and things. And where do you see this going now? I've got a 10 year plan. 10 year plan? Ten year Look plan. at you, imagine that spreadsheet. But I've already had a 10 year plan, no it's in my head. Right, okay. <laughs> to build a decade of 10 or a decade of positive dyslexics yeah. and we'll see where it goes from there but there is just a 10 year plan. Year five is already underway in the planning. It's halfway through. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the year ten will be a massive party. Bill's already talking about a disco at the end and a massive fundraising. And, yeah. and also, in in this project, it, some of the things haven't gone quite how you planned. But some of the categories, it's worth pointing out yeah. that people wish to stay anonymous. Oh, education. And education is actually, the worst. as people who struggle in education. These are the people that we need to celebrate the most. Yeah. And the trouble is, the educators that don't want their names to be put in there, or don't want to accept being nominated, or don't want to be a finalist, it's because, as you said I said earlier, they just think they're doing their job. Which, yes, okay, they are just doing their job. However... But it's making a real difference to people they're doing it so well. Yeah. And to celebrate that is just amazing, and it's, as we both know. A good educator that teaches you the right way empowers you for life. And, and it's not just about the teaching, is it? Because sometimes, it, if you find a good educator that's teaching a subject that's all reading books, we ain't ever going to get that qualification. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not reading books. <laughs> but actually, well, I'm not. Um, to connect with them and to have an understanding, that's what you're reaching out yeah. for, isn't it? It's having somebody who yeah, understands that you have potential, you have skills and you have a passion and putting you on that right path mm -hmm. to follow that passion and succeed and excel. So, if you're watching this video and you're an educator, you know an educator, you have had a brilliant educator, nominate them yep. and tell them they have to accept it. Absolutely. And actually, what that can do is highlight the people, work people are doing well and hopefully find some more out of the woodwork as a result. Yeah, and hopefully inspire others. So, you have really good educators who perhaps can be mentors to other educators. And just it's it's not rocket science to teach dyslexics. We're really quite clever. Mm. So fantastic, Ellie. Well done Thank on you. Dyslexia Awards for Dub.